Welcome back, everybody, to another ROM review. Uh, this one is a marshmallow ROM, uh, and as you can see by the uh, by the wallpaper, it is AOSIP. Um, I've been waiting to do a review on this ROM um, because of personal reasons. Um, this is a very, very nice ROM. Uh, I wanted to wait to see how far they would get with, uh, their personalizations. Uh, and I gotta say that, um, as far as I can tell, and I have run pretty much every single Marshmallow ROM out there, uh, this ROM has more custom features than any ROM, uh, open-sourced ROM. Um, I'm going to go into about phone and let you guys uh, scan through this real quick. Um, AOSIP, I used to love it when it was Lollipop, and they used to run the Sonogen Mod theme engine. Uh, they switched over to Layers. Um, when they did that, that is a, when I decided to part ways. Uh, not that I don't care for the developer or the ROM itself. Outstanding ROM. I'm not a Layers fan. Never have been. Um, now with Marshmallow being here, uh, most of the ROMs out there are all layers. That is the way Google and, uh, AOSP wants to go. Uh, although CyanogenMod is fighting <laughs> that right now. Um, and Dirty Unicorn is a good example of that. Uh, they have incorporated, uh, the CyanogenMod theme engine in their ROM. Uh, in their Marshmallow build, which was the video I just released uh, a couple days ago. Uh, but I did want you guys to see this ROM. It is a really, really great ROM. Um, now, as you can see, it is dark-themed, and this comes just like this right after it's flashed. Uh, so if you want a light theme, I'm going to show you where to go to put it uh, to the light theme. But as you can see... Uh, this is for the Nexus 6. It is AOS IP. Uh, this is their version 1.0.1. Uh, and it is a stable build. And this is the uh, November 1st uh, edition of it. Or version ROM build. Whatever you want to call it. Uh, I am running Benzo Core. Although AOS IP's own kernel. Uh, just like um, Dirty Unicorn. Uh, is an outstanding kernel on its own. Um, you can run it. Uh, it does not force encryption. Um, I'm running Benzo Core, or Benzo Core kernel because I like the Mako hot plug feature, and that is the only reason why I'm running it. If it wouldn't be for that, I'd probably be running uh, the uh, stock um, or, uh, AOS I, or yeah, AOS IP's kernel. I'm not going to get into all of the features or all, excuse me, I'm not going to get into all of the different settings that I normally do because they are basically the same as the rest of all the other marshmallow builds out there. But I will go to uh, the Owl's Nest, uh, which is their version of uh, custom settings. Um, they have a lot of features. And their features are actually working. So it's great. I, it's, I, I cannot get over how many custom features this ROM has for it being Marshmallow. Uh, there's been a lot of other ROMs out there, I'm not going to name them, that are in their third version. Uh, and some of them have reverted backwards uh, because of conflict issues. Uh, this ROM has not. Um, under battery... It's your basic battery settings. There they are. And then there is your percentage. Uh, under clock and date. Uh, these are your clock and dates. You can move it to center if you want. You can color it. And the color sticks. There's no issues with that whatsoever. Carrier label. Uh, you can add a carrier, a custom carrier label if you want. Um, or not. That's up to you. Uh, although I haven't seen it working, uh, unless it works under the lock screen, which I can check real quick. 
Ah, there it is. Yeah, it's it's up there. So, and as you can see, guys, I have this set under um, um, blur effect for my lock screen. Uh, let's see, tiles and icons. Here are your quick settings. And yes, you can add tiles to it or remove them. These are the tiles I did not add. And as you can see by my, uh, my uh, nav bar at the bottom, my back button is on the right because you can move it on this one. Under status bar, uh, these are the status bar icons that you can either uh, enable or disable. Then, of course, you have custom header image, which is that very top up there, which gives you your weather. Um, kind of shows you the actual time of day look. Uh, about 20 minutes ago, it was actually an orangish color, which kind of represents the morning, the dawn look. Oops, sorry about that, guys. Um, trying to think here. Then we're going to slide over to lock screen. Uh, these are your weather options. Whether you can enable them, disable them. Then you have your blur effect then you, and the intensity for that. And of course, double tap to sleep. Here are your nav bar settings. Um, your button layout. This is how you would change it. You would hit the edit. You would physically move the buttons where you wanted them. Hit save. And your buttons are where you want them. Thank you, AOSIP, for this feature. Um, I'm going to tell you guys also that uh, the three-minute battery mod is not working for this ROM. I don't know what's going on with it. There we go. I don't know what's going wrong or on with it. Uh, they are having an issue with getting it to work. Uh, I tried it this morning and then I had to reflash the ROM because I lost my system UI. So hopefully they will get it working. And if they do, I will post uh, I will post it in the description, a link to it, so you guys can uh, run the three minute battery mod if you so choose. Under your recents, uh, you can have your search bar if you'd like, memory bar. I don't like the search bar, but I do like the memory bar. And your clear, uh, clear all area where you want that at. Under buttons, uh, there are your, uh, your volume key and your volume rocker and advanced. Um, I got to remember where the under buttons where the power menu is at. Real quick, um, I think that is in the actual settings itself. You go to display. Uh, here's the theme, so you guys can change that to dark, light, or automatic. I'm going to go ahead and put it on light, let you guys see what it looks like under the light setting. What I'm looking for is the power menu uh, to set that up. Here's your sound and notifications. Uh, you can't change your notification light or battery lights. You can only enable them. This is your advanced sound note, your advanced sound options. And your heads up are at the bottom. Uh, let's see, let's try security. And, oh, I know where it's at. Accessibility. Uh, nope, that's power button ends the call. Try developer options. Uh, 
I remember seeing it somewhere in here. Um, <laughs> I, I'm probably just missing it. You guys will have to look through and find it. Uh, there's your multi-window mode. Uh, you can. That's where you would enable that. All right. Well, uh, but anyways, guys, uh, this is AOS IP. Um, I'm going to let it run for a while. I'm going to see how it runs, uh, and I will give some feedback on that. Uh, so far, so good. I'm having no issues at all. I am running multi-ROM for those of you guys uh, that know me. Uh, I have about uh, four ROMs on right now. I've had five uh, on at, uh, at one time um, only because I have a 32 gig internal storage, uh, so that's all I can fit. Um, and I, even though I'm running the mod that they have under the XDA thread that allows you to run Marshmallow as secondary ROMs, I could not get this to flash that way. Uh, I actually had to, um, move my primary, which is Pure Nexus, uh, to a secondary spot, and then flash this ROM in my primary spot, and then swap the primary and secondary to get this ROM to run in my secondary slot. So right now, this ROM is the MRA, uh, 58K ROM. That's actually, uh, AOS IP, which I'm gonna edit that now so I don't forget that. A O S I P M rename. And there we go. Um, I hope you guys liked the video. Uh, I suggest you go to the XDA site or uh, go on to their website, or not their website, but their Google Plus community page and download the ROM and give it a try. Um, it's a very nice ROM, and if you want those custom features, this is a ROM that has them. Uh, I hope you liked the video. If you did, give it a thumbs up, and I will see you on the next one.